I could hear each and every one of their butts clench when they <laughs> said that the only artists who did well today were Ryan, Kelly, and Nikki. Ooh, they didn't like that <laughs> What I love right now is that I had one of the worst skull picks last week, <laughs> and I'm gonna dish that <laughs> to those boys. Vengeance will be had. The first person I'm going to is sketchy, and then the next person is <laughs> own face. And they're gonna get the out of this house. It's gonna be thrilling watching you do the skull pick. <laughs> Girl, it's gonna get messy. That brings us to this week's elimination tattoo. Japanese. Oh, Japanese, god damn it. Every meaning on every piece is gonna be brought up. It has to be perfect or we're screwed. Rooted in mythology and natural symbols, Japanese tattoos convey a balance of power and beauty through natural imagery. In Japanese style, there's an even distributional weight throughout the piece. If it's off, it can really make somebody's body look awkward. Let's meet your canvases. Jamie's gunning for me. I came after his ass, so he's gonna come after mine. I know I'm Clint. I Clint over by giving him a dragon again after he got chewed up so bad on the chaps. My most brilliant move to date. Fan. Fantastic, thanks dude. Um, while you're looking at this, why don't you tell me real quick what you had in mind? And I'm gonna let you know what we can do. Since we're gonna be doing obviously a dragon, we're working against a lot of detail with a limited amount of time, so I have absolutely no experience with Japanese tattoos at all. If you want me to cover a lot of area, the black and gray would be a good route to go. I was hoping in color. What I can get done in six hours in black and gray is about the same as three and a half hours in color. So you're basically cutting that in half. It can't get any worse for me than this. I'm looking for uh, reddish and yellows and golds, greenish. This is an ass beating. That can very well be my ticket home. What do you think, you like it? No? Wow, that's a lot. Claire, you're doing yours black and gray in color. I'm doing it black and gray. I just hope you can do it in six hours. Looks like Clint's bit off the most. I feel like giving Clint the dragon was really well played. He's definitely struggling. My balls are on the bandsaw right now. This type of tattoo requires a lot of time. It's so tight with detail. Mm. You need to adjust. I'm not trying to be a dick or anything. It's just like, <laughs> me at least get the dragon done. Do these needles go deeper than the other ones or no? No. I just happened to land a client who's not allowing me to do the best of my ability. If I don't like it, I'm walking out. This guy could very well send me the home. Start praying to Jesus. Three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. No more ink. Machine's down. Clint's piece might save my ass. It looks like he shot his dragon in the head and beat it to death for six hours. There are a lot of issues with it. It's very, very dark. The fire looks like a red blob. I'm one pissed off guy. This is by far the worst canvas I've had. That completely me on my tattoo. I'm pissed. Ugh. This week, we asked you to create a Japanese tattoo. We were testing balance. Clint. Oh, Jamie did me wonders. How so? I have issues with my oriental dragons. I was cornered from the moment we started. You're acting like you're the victim. Clearly, the client's the victim. It's just a bunch of dragon anatomy thrown in a ball. And there's no separation between the head and the body. The scales are a major failure. You did them too tight. If you had done everything on a bigger scale, it would have been way more readable. The original drawing's huge, it's like this big. I can't tattoo as big as these guys. This isn't a dick challenge that size matters, this is a tattoo. Dude, seriously, you're killing me here. It's doing a clean job, and that's it. I mean, this thing is a fucking mess. It's like you shot it in the head right off the bat and then spend the next six hours just beating it. What's a bummer to me is y'all didn't learn the lesson from the traditional day. Learn the lesson, man. And that's not just to you, Clint. That's to everybody in the room. Nobody, nobody in this room learned their lesson from traditional day. Clint. I came in today and I just dropped the ball. I up a lot. All you had to do today was just do a decent dragon that we could tell what the was going on. You botched a lot of elements. I'm really good at what I do, but that's just a tiny little section. The tattoo you did today is not a good representation. This is a big kick in the ass. I'm trying to stay real humble right now. I take everybody's advice to heart. I'm willing to learn. The judges have decided.
Clint, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. We're a little bummed that we're sending home a really technical tattooer, but somebody's gotta go home. It's just come down to it. Please pack your machines and close shop. Get the out of here. I busted my ass on that tattoo. I do badass tattoos. I don't need a title to make myself feel better. Is there anybody that you guys are specifically gunning for? I'll give you one guess. Dave. Yes. He gave me the roughest day I've had since I've been here. Craig worked with Matt to kind of put the three of us down. I think you probably should go after them. I'm going after Craig. I truly think he doesn't have any respect for me. You just got to give him something that's going to rattle him. So I just want to return a favor. Now, Dave falls under my umbrella, so we run into a conflict on that. But what I'm willing to concede on this one, I'll look away on the Dave one if you'll let me have a bad skull for Katie. I'm totally cool with that. I feel like I can chop Matt's legs a little bit if he doesn't have her here. I'm not here to save anybody. And then I've still got Tyler to protect. You can do whatever you want to. With, I, I, honestly, I don't care about anybody else. I just want Dave Clark's skull. OK. I'm not surprised that Chris is not going to step in and protect Dave. David Clark's on his own, and David Clark is going to get it. Today, you must tattoo an anatomical heart morph. Morph. Each canvas today wants an anatomical heart morphing into another image. Oh. You must use artistry to make the two images flow together perfectly. To win this competition, it's not enough to just be a technical tattooer. You must also have the artistry to draw appealing images. And these tattoos are a perfect test. Morph in the heart. That'd be interesting. What would you like to get? Anatomical heart morphing into a lion. Morphing into a lion in black and gray. What would you like to get tattooed today? An anatomical heart morphing into a lion. Color or black and gray? Color. I don't care about what strategy that Chris and Eric have worked out for the rest of those skulls. David Clark came at me. David Clark is going to get it. It's payback time. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Dave. Poor Dave. I have to do a color lion on a girl whose complexion is dark, which limits my color palette tremendously. I'm bummed out. Black and gray, a color. I'm doing color, and I want a female lioness. Uh, there are so many things working against me right now. She's got darker complexion, and on top of that, she wants a female lion. It's gonna look like a panther or a cougar. A lion needs a mane. Are you open to the male lion? Okay. Awesome. Chris told me that he would try to protect me, but it looks like it doesn't mean jack when it comes to this competition. Craig, I knew you were gunning for me. I'm going to man up and fight back. Still got a lot of work to do. I'm a little stressed out because I'm working my ass off to come up with something unique and different to put me above Matt and Cruzman. What are we morphing into over here? A lion and a heart with external and internal view. Everybody else is doing externals. Nobody did an internal. That'd be a cool way to bring the lion pair throughout. Dave's looks crazy. Yes, it does. He just has a heart with like a lion's face hanging off the edge. There's a ball sack on the face. It does have a ball sack on it. <laughs> Dave doesn't stand a chance today. That's amazing. Just love it. Dave, Craig was gunning for you, and you put you against Cruzman and Matt. You had one chance to stand up and come back at them and show them you were a strong artist, and you came with some weird design of a cut open heart. I needed you to be a part of my team, and I needed you to be a strong player and you let yourself down and everybody else. Yay! I love it. I really do. What the f are you doing? What was the deal with the tattoo? I feel like you gave up. You're a military dude. I'm a military guy. We are a team. And you throw me under the bus? You did the f skull picks? That's crazy! What the f dude? Craig gave you the f that skull, dude, so I just turn around and f fine. I'll battle you, Craig. You know, he's going to f you over, then I'll f go right after him. I rocked my part, and then you Blow your own. Craig went after you, and you gave Craig what he wanted. Today, you had to create anatomical heart morph tattoos that show your artistry. Dave. Looking at the placement on this girl's shoulder, I put her in a tank top, and I see this muzzle with this weird black smudge that's going to look hideous. 
I don't know why you would put that much black behind it if you just did a good outline. It would have looked fine. The only solid outlines are in what's supposed to be the heart. And I say what's supposed to be the heart because I feel like it looks like the lion is being dissected. It looks like it's been chopped open and there's pieces of it hanging out. It's really badly done. Sorry to be blunt, but it is. We have to decide who's going home. Dave's tattoo, I didn't care for it at all. I couldn't tell what was going on in it. It's a sandwich when you put a lion with a heart. I did what I could to make something presentable to you. The morph itself is really unclear. I wanted to have it where the hair incorporated with the heart. But it's static. That's the problem. I draw hearts all the time. The lion is something I don't tattoo all the time. So trying to figure out how to blend a lion with a heart. If you can't draw, you will not be in the finale. I can promise that I won't see any of you guys in the finale unless you can draw. Artistically, Dave is in the bottom for me because I can see the other two have some kind of movement happening, something exciting happening. To look at yours, it's really static. The person's drawings that I've disliked the most throughout have been Dave's. The judges have decided, Dave, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. In here, it comes down to everything from the drawing table up, and this is the point where we gotta say bye. Please pack your machines and close shop. For this elimination tattoo, you must integrate a galaxy into an everyday object. Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh, now I really wish I got saved. Galaxy tattoos, a lot of times, are very hard to read, very messy looking, and if you don't pull it off right, it's just gonna look like a big blob of I don't know if I can pull off the uh, galaxy. You got it. Come on. Yeah. And don't forget, the team whose artist wins Tattoo of the Day will form a jury of peers to deliberate and choose one artist to put up for elimination. We're gonna send some people home. Let's meet your canvases. Get it, Colonel. It's extremely important that Amanda doesn't let Team Clean bully her around. She needs to stand her ground and make sure that she gets as much safety for us as possible. I'm looking to get a Black Panther with jewel toned galaxy in the fur. Panthers are really difficult. You have to know where to put black, but also where to leave skin breaks to give highlights to those lines that make the shape of the panther. You're kind of the odd person out right now, so which ones are you, do you have your eye on? Boston. Let's barter here. If you get to pick Austin's, we get to pick Tim. Amanda needs to understand that we can throw three times more blows to your team than you can to ours. It's for you. If Austin is going down, I'm gonna make sure two people on their team is going with him. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Is that realistic Panther? Austin. I have to make sure that this looks like a panther, not like a cover-up. This could go terribly wrong. That's going full T-Rex. Does that look like a cat's head? Yeah. Just trying to figure out how to shade this cat's face. Remember what? how I did my stencil? I'm trying to help Austin as much as I can. You think I should do that? If it'll help, you're going right on a photograph that you can see a lot better than that tracing paper, right? That gives me my hand memory on how to shade. Austin's like that two-year-old that you just can't take your eyes off, or otherwise you're just getting into something. I'm pretty sure I just screwed myself. I've got to flip it. So just make it, make, a, make a copy. And then, and then just make a stencil, because it's already going to be flipped. I feel like I'm a major league coach, but I'm coaching a t-ball player. When you're done, you just make a copy like this and it'll come out flipped. And I can make a stencil directly off of that? What, the copy, yeah. Okay. Where we at? Wipe up here on the top of that line so I can see. I'm gonna pull a little bit of See, outside of that line? Yep. Austin's tattooing outside of the line with his shading. He needs to fix that or he's gonna be as good as gone. The black that's clearly gone out of the lines. What are you gonna I mean, do I don't, to fix it? I'm not sure. Like, do you have any ideas? You might have to do like some color bursts coming from behind the panther. Don't get flustered. It's plenty of time. What? Plenty of time. This challenge is technical application. I need to figure out how to hide the flaw in my tattoo without making it look like an afterthought. Just smooth the blends out as much as possible. I swear to God, if I'm in the bottom again, I'm going to lose my mind and pull out what little hair I have left. Two more hours. Two more hours. 
today, you had to integrate a galaxy into an object, proving your technical application. Austin. First glance, this tattoo, it does have an appealing look to it. Simple approach, but your color blends, I don't think really blend. Your pink background across the top should either be a solid all the way to the line or you should leave some sort of halo or something. Austin, was that was that background deliberate or was that because you colored outside the lines? What I think about good tattoo artists is not that they don't make mistakes, is that sometimes they know how to fix those mistakes and make sure that they don't destroy you. Just the idea of putting the pink behind the panther's head makes it look like it's sore. Your flow and how you're gonna put things together is where you're stifled. I think Austin's, if you look at the space, I don't think it's very well thought out how it finishes because the spiral's going one way and then as soon as it hits the panther neck, it's just some going a different way. I mean, galaxies come from infinite, so they're infinite shapes, infinite sizes. Because you haven't seen that one doesn't mean there's not one that looks like that. I think everybody that's gonna look at it is gonna think that it is a galaxy. So let me put you in a position, because both galaxies potentially Austin's galaxy is way more than Jesus. Yeah, come on. So whose animal's better? You can't tell me the technical aspect of the outline on Jess's is good. I think the wolf is beat. The cat face does not have as many anatomical issues as the sideways face of the wolf. My vote's for Jess. Overall, I know what both elements of Jess's tattoo are. I know it's a galaxy and I know it's a wolf. When I go to Austin's tattoo, it's a cat with some kind of questionable spinner going on there. My vote's for Austin. My vote's for Austin. The judges have decided. Austin, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You put in everything you had on every one. For that, I commend you, and you know what you gotta work on. You set them up, you knock them down, everything will fall into place behind that. Thank you. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you must tattoo Japanese temples. Oh, my God. Japanese temples. Those things are so intricate and so detailed and they're so structured. Oh my God. So if you're not good at your line work, you're gonna up this temple. It will require expert composition to capture the beauty of these elaborate temples. Wow. So we are looking for you to compose this tattoo. You have to put together something that's a scene. If it's a winter scene, make it feel cold. If it's a beautiful sunny day, make it clear as day. Let's meet your canvases. We know exactly who we've got to hit on Team Clean. We're going after Kyle, and we're going after him with a vengeance. This kid's time is up. He just doesn't know it yet. Traditional black and gray Japanese temple with cherry blossoms and a bridge on my ribs. That sucks. I know they got to give that to me. A Japanese temple is composed of a lot of straight lines. Once you wrap it over the ribs, it's going to distort the image. So if you're not careful, you're as good as gone. On the ribs? Yeah. Are you dead set on that? Yeah. Someone's going to try to change your mind. I know. I'm not changing it. You're leaving here with a rib tattoo? I am. This one's for you. Nobody's safe right now. Christian is definitely gunning for all of them. Canvases. One by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. I'm gonna bet Kyle's got the ribs. Kyle. Summit. <laughs> I hate tattooing ribs, especially after my last canvas where he almost tapped out and sent my ass home. I love your idea, man. Yeah. I can tattoo the ribs, no problem, but most people can't sit for it. The last dude I had, big tough guy, it almost sent me home because yeah, he yeah. wouldn't sit still. He kept taking breaks every five minutes. Is there any other way you would um, to do anywhere else? I wonder how many canvases are going to fold today. How many guys are going to change it from a rib or they're going to change the style? Don't listen to them. Test your artists. Wow. Do they deserve to make it? It's final eight. How many artists are going to step up to Don't the listen plate? To Joker. Do what your canvas wants today. Can't do a rib, can't do a chest, can't do a style. Don't deserve to be here. Yeah, we'll see, man. Do you think I should do it there? I'd put it on the ribs. My only concern is just him sitting still. I'm not going to get cut in the sleeves. Leaving is one thing, but sitting and squirming for six hours is even worse. Today, these artists are going to be tattooing Japanese temples. I mean, I could just continue this as part of the end of this statue. No, that's perfect. These artists are going to have to really work on composition, constructing the temple in a way where you have a foreground, some background, that coupled with temples. Anything can happen. You doing all right? Mm. Team Christian, they didn't just send me a grenade. They dropped a 
nuke on me. Every week they're gunning for me. As soon as I pop my head up from the water to catch a breath, they push my head back down. It's just exhausting having to fight every single day. What's going on with this front over here? It just kind of like has a scratchy line. It just looks unfinished. I hate everything about this tattoo. This thing's crooked as hell. I'm doing what I can to save it, but you know, this thing's Three, two, one. That is it, time is up, machine's down, no more ink. Wow, I love it, that's incredible. Mine was stressful. The ribs is definitely tough, man. The skin is so thin, dude. There's always gonna be like little hiccups here and there. They might hit you on a couple of spots. Hey Kyle, what do you think about having ribs for dinner? Like a well done? <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> we got our asses handed to us. I just feel like I very well could be golden. Christian just keeps leaving traps for you and you keep walking into it. They handed you the ribs. It's the hardest Thanks. spot to You're tattoo. Dude. Ribs are hard, but I don't tell people what the hard things are for me because that's more ammo for them to use subconsciously against me. They gave it to me anyways because I dropped the ball on the last one. You are clearly a threat and you're letting them get to you. You're your biggest enemy right now, not Team Christian, you. I promised your brother I would look after you, so I'm gonna give you some tough love right now. So the tough love that you're getting from our team is just because we want and need you here. Dude, think of your brother. Jimmy busted his ass to like teach you everything that he knew about tattooing, and it took you further than it took him. Now I'm ready to defend my stuff. You're a dude that lays down and gets back up. Don't lay down. Today, you're being tested on composition, tattooing Japanese temples. Team Clean. Let's start with you. Kyle. You had a tough challenge. The line work definitely gets away from you as far as all the straight lines being parallel in direction. It's pretty much no way to make the bottom of this bridge look straight with the angle of the temple. It just wraps a little bit, and it did get a little bit askewed in the process. It's a tough spot to put a man-made structure. Yeah, exactly. The thing that's throwing your design off the most first, your tattoo is just all shaded in the same way. There's a lot of similar tonality here where you can't really back yourself out of a corner. <laughs> Kristen, why did your team vote Kyle to the bottom? We just felt that Kyle's seriously was the worst tattoo of the day, hands down. At first glance, that's a solid tattoo. I think Kyle's looks pretty rad. Definitely looks like a powerful, dramatic tattoo. It was like a powerful earthquake blew up the whole neighborhood. Not only is the pagoda leading, but the bridge is leaning completely the opposite, incorrect way. You would have served yourself a big help putting the stencil on in two parts, placing the pagoda, placing your bridge. You didn't need to be pigeonholed to that stencil. The curve and the indents of the ribcage made some lines look a little wobbly. You can't straighten up a crooked structure. It's going to stay, though. Yours is going to fall. No, out. it's going to stay. It'll be light, but it'll stay. All right, judges, time to determine who's going home. I feel like it's between Amanda and Kyle, and I'm really torn because I like the weight of Kyle's tattoo. From a distance, it has a lot of contrast. It's dark. It reads more like a temple to me, and Amanda's, when you really get into the temple, the upper tier of it is just a lot of inconsistencies on lines and shapes and patterns. My vote is for Amanda. They both have line work problems. They both have dimensional errors, but Kyle's definitely stands out as having the most crooked stuff going on. My vote's for Kyle. Kyle, I want to keep you here, man. But this is just the most challenged tattoo of the day. I hate to do it, man, but Kyle. The judges have decided. Kyle, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I really think you have your foot on the gas going in the right direction. I think you're going to be great. You did good, man. This just wasn't your day. Nope. Please pack your machines and close shops. Thank you. Let it go. Easy, man. Today, your canvases are counting on you to fix one of the biggest mistakes of their lives. <laughs> by covering up a constant source of shame, a hate tattoo. We got to cover up some hate tattoos? We just did foreheads. This is getting crazier and crazier. Your canvases today regret getting these tattoos, so you must help them by transforming these symbols of hate into something new. James, you won the flash challenge. You have the power to assign the canvases. A spot in the top four is on the line, so be strategic. My strategy is take out Christian and Anthony. I'm trying to keep all the veterans in this. What'd you like? I'm getting the swatsuit covered up here. Well, it's pretty nasty. Won a World War II tribute to turn a negative into a positive. Difficult, right? 
That's a ridiculously hard cover-up because it's big and bold and it's right in the middle of her leg. It's gonna be really difficult to cover. Christian? It's not a man dressing. I wanted a cross with a helmet coming off of it. That's basically a soldier's cross. Exactly. My biggest concern about this tattoo is that it's really large and some weird tattoo going right through the middle. She wants a soldier's cross, but it's not big enough to cover this thing. Uh, anything else if this didn't work for you? No way. If this were in my shop, it would take me three days to come up with a design to cover it properly. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I kind of want to ask you something just, like, straightforward. Go ahead. I kind of have this feeling that you're sort of playing both sides a bit. How so, though? You've been talking to James a lot, and he threw you a really nice canvas, and I think he hit me hard. He could have been trying to toss you that one because it was black and gray, and he thought you could knock it out of the park. I don't black buy the artist. He intentionally gave me a harder skull. Oh, yeah. What James did was basically his decision. I also know that he wants an all-vet finale, and that puts you right in the middle. You got the vets that say, hey, let's make an all-vet finale. You got us saying, hey, let's make a mess finale, so you're winning either way. We've got a couple of different options for you. My canvas wants a soldier's cross and a six-pointed star to cover this thing up and pay homage to the people that she offended with the original tattoo. The soldier's cross is doable. However, I've got to do it at least that big. So I did one that I know will work, a World War II American Eagle piece. With the six-pointed star, I know it's in totally different directions. Get but it. Really? Yeah, badass. Let's get it, man. Luckily, she just wants to get rid of this swastika. She hates it, and she's willing to do whatever it takes. Got some tricks to pull off. This tattoo isn't working out as good as I expected. There are a lot of wonky lines that are just popping up out of the blue. It is not covering the way I wanted to. My goal is to make it look like a badass tattoo, even if it wasn't covered. And there's a couple spots that get a little bit rough. I've never been to the bottom before, and I'm not ready to go now. So far, I think Christian's the weakest. That eagle head. It's mad ugly. And the drawing's terrible. And the little arms. You better really pull it together. Today, you had to show ingenuity by covering a hate tattoo. Christian. The first glance at this tattoo is very nice. I like the aesthetic. I like the big, simple approach. Just looking at the area of the cover up, the eagle worked really well. There are a few areas on close inspection where you can see the old lines popping through the white, but that's better than just blacking it out, making it more hard to see what's going on with the eagle. You have some definite challenges in the eagle. Things that really give the eagle the power are gonna be the talons in the head. You just did them too small. You wanna lock them in and make it powerful and strong. It gets more of a turkey feel than it does an eagle feel. The other thing is, it's two different shaped wings completely. The one closest to us is a big fat square that doesn't have that strong taper. And then the back wing is right. It's got that long feel. You've only got so much time to make every line work, and a lot of decisions I had to make on the fly to cover the straight lines going out. It is what it is, but that's why I did it. But if you had the time to do the non-important flower, that time could have all gone into your main design of the cover-up. At this stage of the game, everything has to be tight because you guys aren't making big mistakes, so it's the little ones that get hit. Now it's time to find out who the human canvas jury chose. Christian, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. January, why did the jury vote Christian to the bottom? They thought that it was a little too simple for as far into the game that he is. He could have done what I asked for, a soldier's cross with maybe a good background. The human canvas jury doesn't understand technicalities of tattooing. I don't believe that what she originally wanted was doable for that particular cover-up. Compared to the other four, I just don't think it was as good. I have not changed my canvas's mind once up until now, and because it was technically impossible for me to do. I do love the tattoo very much. I apologize if uh, it wasn't what you wanted. January, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Christian, a little bit more understanding of traditional shading, this tattoo could have been a lot better. I still think I did a solid tattoo. I think it was technically applied correctly. I don't think I deserve to go home. Nobody wanted that one. And yeah, she's walking away and nobody knows what the f is under there. No matter what the excuse is, it is obvious that a lot of these boys have absolutely no idea what direction to even take in the palm tattoo. I could hear each and every one of their butts clench when they <laughs> said that the only artists who did well today were Ryan, Kelly, and Mickey. <laughs>
Woo, they didn't like that <laughs> What I love right now is that I had one of the worst skull picks last week, <laughs> and I'm gonna dish that <laughs> to those boys. Vengeance will be had. The first person I'm going to is sketchy, and then the next person is <laughs> bone face, and they're gonna get the <laughs> out of this house. It's gonna be thrilling watching you do the skull pick. <laughs> Girl, it's gonna get messy. Most people wear their tattoos with pride, but one in seven have a tattoo they regret. Today, you must cover a tattoo in a spot that is often a source of embarrassment, a tramp stamp. I knew that damn tramp stamp fad would come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> Tramp stamps became a fad because their designs were typically small and their placement was easy to hide. However, the placement of the tramp stamp on the extreme lower back makes it a serious challenge to cover tastefully. Tattooing over already tattooed skin just makes the tattoo process that much more difficult. If an artist doesn't have good technical application, there's no point in tattooing because you're just gonna put them through unnecessary amounts of pain and see the tattoo underneath anyways. All right, let's meet your canvases. I'm looking to get a surfer riding a wave with a sunset behind him. This whole tattoo is so big and the color is really dark. That is not gonna be fun to cover up. I hope I don't get him. One by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Bone face. Nikki's strategy is clear. She's looking out for the girls and trying to destroy all of the guys. This is gonna be a long day. You said you wanted to go with a surfer, right? Yeah, a California sunset with a wave and a surfer, okay. you know, with the hang ten. Water is something that I don't tattoo well. So are you cool with black and gray or color? I would prefer color. On top of that, the old tattoo is extremely big, extremely black, and going to be hard to cover. The biggest thing is that doing all of that, I don't know if we'd be able to squeeze color in. My main thing was the sunset. The sunset, right. You know, be, that's why I wanted a color. Last week, I barely made it by. This week, if I can't get my canvas to compromise, I could go home. If we do the sharp, it'll be just the sharp. I want the surfer. Nikki has given me the guy who wants the surfer. He looks so, like, serious. <laughs> but my biggest issue is my design. I can't get this water right, and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to hide this old tattoo completely. The guys, we're already screwed. The girls keep gaining momentum, and it's going to be hard to stop them at this point. Two, one, that's it, time's up, machine's down, no more ink. Wow, holy crap, I wasn't expecting that at all. Boneface's tattoo looks like crap. How could he stay here after this? I think all the boys are like <laughs> Yeah, the whole girl alliance thing is really starting to sting. Who you were aiming for really worked. Yeah, it worked, Boneface. It's just a mess. The only way he's going to be safe is if the judges are sick of Kevin disregarding what they're telling him. Boneface, he's got nine lives. God drives me crazy. Today, you had to show bulletproof technical application by covering a tramp stamp, Boneface. You're consistent with application. It's just here you're really challenged artistically. The first thing is the fluidity of the water. It's very stagnant and stiff. It should flow. The water that's flying, to me, they look a bit like teeth. The hands are really funny to me. And then this board that doesn't really look like a surfboard. It looks like an ironing board to me. Your problems are not in your technical application. Your problem in this is your planning and your execution of how to get this design to fit into the new design that you have. All right, time to hear from the jury of peers. Why did you vote Boneface to the bottom? This tattoo is just not good looking. It just looked like a cover up. It's fair. And I know improvements that I could have made and I know where I messed up at. I don't like to make excuses. You did a partial redo and a partial cover up. Both failed in this. Time to decide who's going home. Nate, strictly based on technical application and achieving a cover up, safe. Agree with that, Robert? Safe. Okay, yeah. so that leaves Kevin and Boneface. It's a pretty huge decision. For me, I feel like Kevin is just doing the same thing. On the day where it's technical application, he had the opportunity to do something stronger. And Boneface, less appealing tattoo by far, and a less cover-up, paid attention to technical application day. But we have a unanimous jury of peers. Yep. I gotta go with Boneface. Robert. Boneface. Boneface. My vote is also for Boneface. The judges have decided. Boneface, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop.
Today, negative space is absolutely essential because you must tattoo black and gray. Right. If you don't have enough negative space in a black and gray tattoo, the entire thing becomes dark and unreadable. You're only using black ink, so you have to let the skin peek through to represent all of your lighter areas. Today, you must tattoo a creature that appears in almost every culture wherever humans struggle with good and evil. A demon. Yes. Black and gray horror tattoos is something that I can do in my sleep. I do them all the time. This is awesome. Let's meet your canvases. Halo and Scott, you guys won the Flash Challenge. You now have the power to assign all human canvases together. This is a huge advantage, so do not waste it. Halo's just as threatened by sausage as I am, and we're gonna be gunning for him. I would like to get a gargoyle on this portion of my body. Can you see the canvas? Yeah. Blue skin, weight loss. Just sit normal, don't suck it in. Not sucking it in. No way. I'm really nervous because I really feel that there's a huge bullseye on my back. Easy, that's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. Sausage. Why me? How in the hell am I going to take this canvas, put on a winning piece? This skin is not tattooable. So you want to do it on your stomach? Yeah. When the skin is very loose and deflated, it makes it extremely hard to tattoo. It's extremely hard to work on the stomach, and it's a disadvantage to me because it's skin that was now stretched down. I have to make sure it looks damn good mm -hmm. so that I can impress the judges okay. and win this thing. Let me make it clear. Mm -hmm. I do not care if you go home. I don't care if you lose or win. This is going on my body. Don't think that I'm sitting here arguing with you, because that's not what I'm doing. No, so. I'm explaining it's, your status in no. the competition is, is none of my concern. What the hell am I supposed to do? I've left my family to come here to win, and this guy's going to come in my room and tell me that he doesn't give a and all he wants is his free tattoo? I'm screwed. Stomach tattoo, huh? I knew you could do it. Well, if you knew I could do it, why wouldn't you give it to somebody else that couldn't? That wouldn't be no fun. Yeah, I was giggling a little bit. I was like, oh, man, Sausage is going to have his work cut out. Yeah, you didn't give a shit about me or the competition or anything else. Really? Sausage is totally butt hurt. He's pouting a lot. Yeah, you want your binky? We picked you a good one. Yeah, because ultimately I was able to reel him back in, and he's going to get a really cool chest piece. What? Talked him out of it? Uh-huh. So, it's, it's all good. Sausage, you slippery little wiener. Every time I give him a hard canvas, he slips out of it. Sausage talked him out of the stomach. God, here he is. Yeah, that little sausage. <laughs> that mother <laughs> No, Ray. The guys that were up there today, they're gunning for the top people. As much as they sit here and try to throw me under the bus, I'm gonna battle my way to win. Mm -hmm. There's a couple bullies that kind of feel that if they give me enough maybe I'll just trip and then I'll fall. But they don't realize that my history has been to take whatever is given to me and absolutely crush it. Karma's a bitch. I said you all try to give sausage that soggy stomach. I'm not sucking my stomach. Oh, there he is. There he is. You look upset. If this would have been a canvas for anybody else, they would have got murdered. I think being thrown under the bus like that is a slap in the face. We were gunning for you, man. Because you're the one of the strongest ones in the house with your skill, dude. Sauce is just a bad sport and he's being a pansy ass. If you're gonna play the victim every time you get a hard skull, ew, go home, dude. I expect it from Scott. This isn't real life, this is a competition, man. The point wasn't to screw you. The point was to give you something you couldn't win on. I have been nice as f to you. I'm not gonna hand you a piece that you're gonna f win Tattoo of the Day with. So this is how the game is gonna be played. Survival of the fittest. That's the f game, bro. Artists, today, you had to show negative space with a black and gray demon. Halo. My first instinct when I saw this was very hard to read. This wing that comes down, I thought that was some kind of a road going up to a mountain. And I still can't figure out if this is a breast plate 
or if there's a hand holding something in front of her. It's kind of made to look like fingers that kind of cup it. It definitely is the oddest, weirdest one of the bunch because there is a lot of detailed elements in a very strange composition. He had so many elements of cool things and I was like, oh, I want to put these wings in and I definitely want to get those shoulder pads and then I want to get this breastplate because it's cool and you just took on a lot of drawing. If you don't swing for the fences, you don't hit them, right? But this was definitely a big swing in a short amount of time. Scott. The craftsmanship on this is really nice, man. The really smooth black tube, very light grays. This is a great example of using the negative space to create highlight. But we're looking for the demons. You kind of missed a mark on that. Something screaming or something showing a little more anger would have portrayed a demon a little better. Sausage. I gotta admit, when he said gargoyle, I kind of rolled my eyes like, oh boy. It just sounds so corny. When I saw it, I was pretty much blown away. There's a lot of layers to it, and it looks like stone, but it has movement and action, and the perspective is odd and different. It's pretty amazing. Thank you. The dynamic hand that you have on the foreground is a really nice touch. All that really heavy shading, but with the nice skin breaks, makes it very legible. It doesn't get lost in the background. Overall, man, it's a good job. Sounds like Halo and Scott's attempt at throwing you under the bus may have backfired, huh? I'm hoping so. Well done, man. Thank you. Before we send you back to the loft, the judges have determined a winner. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. Great tattoo, Sausage. Well done, man. Thank you. For this elimination tattoo, you must tattoo the ultimate test of accuracy, a portrait. Portraits, my Achilles tendon. I'm sweet. Hell yeah, portrait day, that is my day. I don't see anybody in this house beating me on a portrait challenge. And today, your canvases want portraits of toddlers. Toddler portraits are so much more difficult than normal portraits because the proportions have to be very round and soft, otherwise you can age the image and make it look like somebody that it's not. But that's not all you'll be tattooing head to head with another artist because two canvases want each portrait. And that means your work will be compared directly with another artist and any error will be apparent. Tattooing the same portrait against another artist, there's nowhere to hide any discrepancies. This is by far the hardest thing we have had to do yet. Nate and Kevin, you won the flash challenge. That means that you have the power to assign the canvases. That also means that you will determine which artists are tattooing head to head. So be strategic. Kevin is the perfect person to share the skull pick with. I don't think teams matter anymore. We're both on board for knocking out the people that need to be knocked out. I'm a portrait artist. That's what I do day in and day out. If there's a bad canvas for all of them, then so be it. Where are you looking to get it at? On my upper arm, photorealistic color. I'm also going with photorealistic color on my back. I cannot do color. It's just not what I do. If this is the canvas I get, I could really be screwed. What are you thinking? Put two people up that are really good against each other so one of them goes down. Who do you want to go up against? I think Ryan. Because Ryan doesn't do color. And I'm definitely doing color today. OK. Let's do it. Stand your ground. First tattoo, first time. OK, canvases one by one. Please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Kevin. Ryan. I'm sweating because I can't do color realism on a toddler portrait. She's about to get a black and tattoo. I think his little plaid shirt is adorable. And I would definitely include that. If I can convince this canvas to switch to black and gray, I can flip this entire thing around on Kevin. I am a portrait artist. I do portraits That's regularly. Wonderful. Yeah. That's such good news. Um, Great. But I do black and gray tattoos. I see that you do add some color. So that's an option, maybe? Color tattoos don't age as well as black and gray. Well, it looks like um, you can still make the eyes bright, which is what yeah. I wanted. I wanted bright eyes. And you can do that with black and gray. Oh, absolutely. If I'm doing black and gray on portrait day, kiss your ass goodbye, Kevin. What's going on? How you doing, bud? So what are you thinking? Obviously full color, huh? Yeah, for sure. 
I'm just not a color portrait person. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Kevin hasn't taken my advice throughout this competition, and if he doesn't want to listen to me, I'm done giving it to him. All right. Right on, man. Good luck, guys. Thank you. I decided to go up against Ryan because I've never seen her do anything color realism before. But of course, she convinced her canvas to do black and gray. I do portraits all day, so I'm confident enough to go against anybody in this challenge. So we're the only ones doing color. No one else is. Nobody, she was only one. Judges can say everyone took easy street, black and gray. They're not gonna say that. No. I know the judges hate color portraits. I'm gonna do it anyway. Today, you tattooed portraits. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Kevin, you tattooed the same portrait as Ryan. This was the hardest one of the portraits to do. I wouldn't have chose this photo. It's not an easy one. Color portraits is a thing that I honestly enjoy, so. The colors that you picked are very much the color of your canvas's skin. So when this thing does heal and washes out, you're gonna have really strong eyes, a strong bottom of a nose, and some really heavy blue lines. The color play in this is what really throws it. I don't think you did a correct representation of the hair in the photo. You have this slick part, and then he has these hairs that are flowing over it. You don't have any inference of that. And then you have these slick loops that look like pudding swirls just doesn't look like hair at all. Ryan, you tattooed the same portrait as Kevin. It's a very slick, smooth tattoo. A lot of great technical ability in there. The detail work in the shirt is very nice, but where accuracy really counted was in that eyes and that upper lip. The darkness under the eyes got a little bit too dark, and you dramatized the little peak in his lip too much. The hair looks a little bit animated, like a comic book. It just takes a little bit of the life out of it. The other thing that gets me is the right eye has more of a V to the top of it in your portrait than a soft, subtle roll. Those are soft little details that you miss, but on accuracy day, those are the things to point out. In terms of accuracy, there are areas where both of them really succeeded and areas where they both lost it. I think Ryan's hair is more accurate. I think Ryan's shirt is more accurate. I think Kevin's face is more accurate overall. These two are definitely challenged, and that's making it hard to even come off with a winner. I think Ryan's is nicer as a tattoo, and technically, it's a lot smoother. I Me, mean, personally, I'd rather wear Ryan's tattoo. My vote's for Ryan. Ryan. All right, winner of this head-to-head -head challenge is Ryan. Congratulations. Anyone with eyes, I feel like, would say that mine looks more like the picture than Nikki's does. His is gonna have no nose within a couple months. Kevin, what I'm missing in your face is your liner so that it won't disappear because your tones are very close to your canvas. These light colors, these things are gonna fade faster than all the rest. Had I known that everybody in the room was doing black and gray, I would've jumped in that pool too and would've did black and gray. But you were confident in the color. I walked in and you had 50 colors poured out and you were like, I feel good doing color so I can't get in your ear. I've been in your ear from day one, but I can't get you to change your ways. You do what you do always. But accuracy being the word of the day, Nikki's tattoo might be the most inaccurate tattoo because it looks the least like the kid. So it's safe to say that both tattoos are lacking in accuracy, as is Ryan's. The right eye is a different shape. There's eyelashes on her left eye that aren't in the photo. Ryan put a hell of a dimple in the cheek. My canvas specifically requested those things from me. I feel like there's issues in Kevin's that were not addressed. The lip is a weird shape, the nose is a too angular for that little boy. He completely well, missed the shadow well, I mean, above the is, eyebrow. You the hair is two different, you excuse me, the hair cheeks, is two different changed, colors. Those are all important things. Well, my thing is it still looks more like the boy in the face than yours does. All right, guys, time to decide who's going home. If you're looking at which one's a better tattoo, you're gonna go with Nikki. To go home, my vote is for Kevin. If you guys both worked in my tattoo shop and did these, I would be more happy with the one that Nikki did based on knowing that it's gonna look better over time. I'd have to say Kevin. I do not know what things are going to turn into. I think Kevin's looks more like the child than Nikki's does. So I vote for Nikki to go home. For longevity and bones and what the tattoo's gotta be, Kevin. The judges have decided, Kevin, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It's been fun to watch you. It's a battle, but honestly, Kev, if you take a little direction from people that you do love their work and people that you want to be around, you're going to switch in two seconds. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you must tattoo traditional illustrative portraits. Ooh. My life. What?
I love doing portraits, but what is a traditional illustrative portrait? We're gonna find out. I mean, I would just think that the word illustrative alone really loosens up what we're looking for, yeah? Either it looks like them or it doesn't, and if it doesn't, you lose, and if it does, you're in a great shape. This is gonna be interesting. Men's team, you won the flash challenge. You now have the power to assign the human canvases. Remember, any advantage can change the game completely, so choose wisely. Let's go. With only two girls being left and having this skull pick, take another one of them out, it's gonna be even easier. All right, man, where are you looking to put this guy at? My thigh. You looking to do color? I'd like to do color, yeah. I wonder if he's washed out. Would you be against going black and gray? I'd really like to try to do color. Our strategy for the women is give them the pictures that are more difficult, ones that have less detail or are blurry. Traditional illustrative portrait of my grandmother on my forearm, and I would like to get the whole body. Would you be against doing less? Uh, yeah, because I kind of really do Just because that. when you're going that small, to make it look just like her is going to be pretty hard. Anytime you're doing a portrait this small, it's going to be difficult, but you could probably turn it into a traditional pinup style tattoo, especially given that the woman already looks like a pinup. I mean, maybe if you crop the legs out. So you're willing to work with how much we can cut off and how much big you can Yeah, do. we'll see. Thank you. Colored portrait of my buddy that was killed in Afghanistan. Do you want his whole uniform or? Yes, just... his uniform. You do have a lot of medals and stuff that's gonna be really definitive and can read like it is the photograph, which is great. I'm looking to do a black and gray portrait of my grandma on my arm. That's probably the clearest picture here, and it's the smallest one. This tattoo could potentially be really cool. It has a lot of detail in it that can lend itself to a really cool traditional tattoo. Are there any out there that you like the most? I was going for that first one. That one, Jason said you feel comfortable in. Yeah. I personally don't like making up tones off a of black gray photo. Yeah. When you get up on it, it's too much you have to make up. And if he feels comfortable making yeah. up, that's good. Yeah. The last one's really good, too. It's a small photograph, but it's really high quality. I want the last one. Second lady, it's almost like a pinup, so that would be the easiest to make up. Do you think the pinup, like, is enough to show the person? Dude, it's perfect. I don't know, I just feel like that pinup face is gonna be so small to try and illustrate it, that's the problem. You can see the eyes, you can see it underneath the nose, you can see yeah, it. But when you gotta tattoo it, it's another thing. Yeah, but it has to be illustrated. illustrated man. You're gonna lose so much detail that it might not look like that person. I think it will. Trust me. All right, if you think I could do the pinup, I'll do the pinup. It's really frustrating right now because for some reason, I'm the one dealing with the leftovers. I don't think it's really fair that I don't have more of a voice in my own choice. Here we go. Trust me, I got you. Canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. I'm nervous. Creepy Jason. One thing we don't have to worry about. I took that one because it's got a mustache. I have a feeling it's getting. Pawn. Snap. Danny. Oh shit, okay. Was not expecting that. I, I'm, I'm stoked. We see what She won't let me add any kind of frame to it, so it's just gonna end like that. I wanted to add some kind of like filigree, a rose, a flower, she wants nothing. So where does she want it to end? She wants it just to end like that, like just fade. I did not think she was gonna be like that at all. I think it's gonna be so hard to make this look like her. That's really what she looks like. I always make sure you get these real nice in there. This is super important. I think I may have f***ed myself with this one. The other ones, I don't know dude, what I would have done with them. I'm not mad at anybody. No, I'm just letting you know, like, I would truly thought that would be a good one for you. I'm just doing it how I want to do it, and then that's what she's going to get, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. I'm a little worried. Not for me, but for time. I was afraid that I scared you away. I wasn't trying to be mean. I hope she doesn't think I was no, actually I, really I nice. I definitely went back and I was like, I don't think this is gonna work. Since I gotta go more illustrative, now I have to show a little bit more detail and the face is too small to show all the details and make it look like this person. I got a little nervous. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, we felt the same, but we feel the same now, so that's better. That's it. It has teeth in the tattoo and I don't know how to approach this without making it look like it has veneers. Ah, oh, shit, grandma's got a mustache. Oh my God, <laughs> I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> Tough crowd, mm -hmm. tough crowd. I am shook as She's such a cutie. My canvas wants a portrait of her daughter on her shoulder blade. I'm just making sure it's like super, super clean. I've been excited for portrait day since day one. I'm gonna make it look great. <laughs> just, you know, cause it's your daughter. The kid portrait is a difficult ask, but I think the full body one was probably more difficult. And I'm really surprised that Pond gave that to himself. I think I'm going home. Why? 
Like, I'm supposed to be making it look traditional, but I went too black and gray. Like this? Yours is nice. Mine uh, doesn't look traditional, though. I feel like you have to go traditional, but not so traditional where it doesn't look at the person anymore. Mm -hmm. Have you looked at the girls? Laura's is not traditional at, at all. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little bummed about like that whole situation. Actually, I really thought that was gonna go to one of us. When I looked at it, I figured it's not really a portrait anymore. You're doing more of like a pinup, and for traditional, that screams pinup. I felt like I kinda got sidelined by the team. Like you guys picked yours, and like there was no discussion about it. Like I got the leftovers. I had three to choose from instead of like all of us discussing the five. You were at any point allowed to say what you wanted. I did. I said I wanted the mustache guy, and he goes, no, I'm taking it. Why didn't you pick the military one? I was gonna, and my, my team, they, I, I went on faith, you know, like any one of us could have had a wild card canvas. Hindsight is 2020. I'm just, I'm mad at myself for like not talking up more. Today, you had to tattoo a traditional illustrative portrait. Pond. As far as capturing the look of the person with a simple drawing, you don't do it. If you look at her right eye, the top of her eye is curved, and the tattoo, it's a straight line and then curved underneath. Just the little looks of what's going on, you lose it. The shape of the mouth is off, the width of the neck. I was hoping to do a pinup. I had every intention, like she wasn't budging on anything, and then I got in my own head. As dark as you went in the collarbone, as weird as the shoulders come out, I can be like, okay, it's stylized, gritty, it's whatever if you're looking to go that route of illustration, but what I can't not see is the precision in the face. Your eyes don't line up, the nose has a crazy curve to it, the mouth is off center, that's all the places where you need to be precise. Women's team, you're next. Danny. You definitely captured the look of this guy. If you look at precision, ear to ear, lips to lips, eyes to eyes, the details are there. The way you simplify the clothing, the clothing looks really great, the beret looks really great. Your details are very precise, which shows that you very strictly stuck perfectly to your details, which definitely hit precision today. Thank you. Judges, it is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Today, definitely, it's out of Danny and Jake. Both of them, because of the dramatic either clothing or hairstyles, berets, whatever it is, the exterior creates the silhouette for what's inside. For me, I love Jake's tattoo. She just looks possibly a little bit like the aunt of the girl in the photo. Does that make sense? Yeah. So a normal portrait day, I would have made it look exactly like here. I don't have a problem with the way you tattooed. You did great, but one discrepancy throws off the entire shape. In your neck, those pearls are going over her shoulder and not around her neck. That's where you lose it and where she maintains it. So for that reason, I go with Danny. Overall, precision, shape for shape, piece for piece. My vote's for Danny. Congratulations, Danny. The judges have decided that you have the best tattoo of the day. Ultimately, one thing is for sure, these canvases wanted a rendering that looked like the photo. So that's where I'm coming from. My decision is for Pawn. All shortcomings aside, the one that misses the precision on the shapes the most is Pawn's. Pawn. The judges have decided. Pawn, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have made it this far. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you, guys. Today, like, our main goal is to just make them sit down. That's the thing is they're going to eat themselves from the inside out. We're just going to help them do it. Today, you must tattoo neon lights. 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 So you know how hard that is. A neon light tattoo is showing the illusion of a glow on somebody's skin. So the only way you can make the illusion is having a heavy amount of black and a very light source of color. Anytime they can't blast color in, it's gonna have problems. Can I just do like a normal tattoo for once? Make it bulletproof because from here on out, somebody that you don't expect to go home will, I promise you. Play hard. All right. Let's meet your canvases. Midwest, you won the flash challenge. You now have the power to assign the human canvases. The gloves are coming off. Karma's a bitch, West, and we're coming for you. I want a red and green, blue and yellow, neon sign of a dragon. Lots of color. How many colors? You want all the colors? Yeah, the 
make a rainbow out of the dragon. Biomechanical skin rip with machine parts on my forearm. That's not easy, bro. I'm looking for a Native American skull with neon light headdress and feathers. <laughs> oh my god. What? <sighs> a whole <laughs> headdress of neon. <laughs> that. So Big let's talk asks. about what we would like first. I'm excited for you guys. You are a what a good time for us to be sworn enemies with the Midwest. On the day that they have skull picks. Dragon. Thank you. On Neon Lights Day. Native American headdress with a skull? Mm-hmm. OK. I'm just hoping my team is bracing for impact. Which one? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Looks like they're confused right now. Don't. Make a decision, Jordan. Who do we have left? Don't f it up. Here you go. Thank you. All right, canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Frank? Ready. Jordan? Right here. What's that one? Behind me on side dragon. Bob? Yeah. Dragon tattoo? I got that one in the bag. I like dragons. I thought you guys were going to try to f me over. You know, it's during a dinosaur wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Hiram. I got you, brother. <gasps> That's so nice of you guys. <laughs> we shouldn't have done that. Warrior woman. Raul. Maybe. Bro, I told you. Yeah, boy. You. What the f I wasn't the one talking shit to the Midwest. Why the f are you coming at me? Angel. Hey. Biomech. I've never done biomech. I've never done neon. Bring it on. What else have I not done? Yeah, I'm kind of excited, honestly. Yeah. Jarrell. Hey. Jason. Yeah, gotcha. Jason's gonna f kill that. This is the headdress one. Jimmy. Oh. That's not the one I wanted. Jessa? Hi. Why don't we just have a challenge if we can pack our station soonest? You can have a game plan all you want with who you're going to take care of and who you're going to go after. But then what happens? Dave Navarre tells you it's Neon Day. And all that shit goes out the window. I was not expecting that. Did Jimmy not get one of the hardest ones out there? Yeah, he did. I feel like he definitely got one of the hardest ones. Yeah, he did. He feels like he's right now. Oh, I bet he's super stressed. Neon headdress, how am I going to do that? There's so many different feathers. I'm going to have to have darks on the outsides of all these. I wanted to go with the simplest tattoo I could on the line, and they gave that shit to Jason, of all people. Like, how would you do it in traditional? I'm just thinking traditional is all about efficiency. I might be in a lot of trouble here. It's going to have to be big. Yeah. I'm sorry, Jimmy. What Did we just accidentally over Jimmy? We probably did. Trying to make sure it meets the challenge. If I'm not careful, I'm gonna let the stress completely overcome me. Sometimes the bigger the ask is, the simpler you have to go. What happened with that alliance, buddy? I don't know, right? Well, I'm glad that y'all's partnership's going good. I just need to focus on what I do. You just gotta be Jimmy Snats. Just be Jimmy Snats. I had a funny feeling that I would be doing some biomass. I've never done biomech in my entire career, but the thing is, it's a light source challenge. All black and gray is, is light sourcing. And I think I might actually have an advantage here. Every time I got a tattoo, I bring a general idea and the artist just takes it from there. I think you end up getting way better art that way. Exactly. Thank you, Midwest, for this biomech tattoo because it actually gave me the perfect platform to shine today. I'm on my game 100%. I thought I picked a somewhat easy one, but I put way too many bulbs on it. I'm trying to put in all of these light sources, all of these dimensions, and I don't love what's happening. Surviving somehow. <laughs> My eyes are just going crazy. I'm gonna take a break. I am not a color artist, and I gotta pull off color in the craziest way today. The farther I get in my tattoo, the more worried I get. Are you worried? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be. In a team aspect, you're going to gravitate to the person in the team that is right there with you. That is Jordan for me. What are you worried about? Just all the shit going on in it. And where to put all the reflections and... This is definitely a tough challenge. Like, there's nothing easy about this one. Jordan has always been there with me mentally. We push each other, so I'm kind of worried. I don't want to see Jordan in the bottom at all. Got me worried. Three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Win or not, I'm proud of it. No, this came out amazing. Skull picks did not go how we planned. I'm not sure if it was accidental, or they just overlooked, or they didn't care. It's a hard one. Dude, that a neon skull with a headdress? Come on. 
Today, you are being tested on contrast with neon light tattoos. Let's see how you did. West, you're up first. Angel. Hey, guys. The way that you create the glow on your piece is very nice. The brightest part, there's nothing there. You have solid black, bright color, open skin, and it shows contrast. Thank you. Thanks. Solid. Jimmy. All right. The tattoo is very legible. As far as selling the idea that this thing is lit up with neon, that one zigzag in the headband does look like it's glowing. Your line work is very nice. Your color saturation and color blending is also very nice. There's a lot of good aspects to this tattoo. Thanks. Suck on that. Jordan. The drawing on this is really challenged. The perspective on the drawing and then the size of the bulbs make the bat not a bat. A bat is this long. You have to capture that somehow. The red lights, you've got murky shading that makes it look brown, doesn't look bright, doesn't look vibrant. It's just the dumbed down version of what this tattoo could have been. I like the Jordan. Could be worse. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. The first and only tattoo that jumps out as one cohesive, bright, strong, solid tattoo is Angel's for me. Angel had light sourcing, wrapping around, shooting around. I mean, it's a well thought out plan. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Angel. Yeah, girl. That's pretty exciting, I'm not gonna lie. Good <laughs> job. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. I decided to design this really simple, and I know now that that was a mistake. Simple is great if it's clean. I just think the bat and Raul's are prettier tattoos. Are you going to look at that bat and know that's bat right out of the box? I think it's an illustration of a bat. It looks like a glass. It looks like a pin. It looks like anything but a baseball bat. It doesn't look like a bat, but application for me, Jordan, is safe. She is not safe. It is not good shading. That is not good brown color from off the black shading. The line of the bat doesn't even line up on the left side where it goes behind the red bulb. These two lines do not meet. Those fundamental challenges are why my vote's for Jordan. Seeing the three of these things together, the one that has the least amount of contrast to me is Jordan. I dislike that Kraken immensely. But to, to pick a baseball bat that's not a baseball bat is equally I got weird with it. Bad decision, I know. It's hard. It, my vote's for Jordan. The judges have decided, Jordan, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. We know you have great skill. Everybody falls. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a koi fish as good as Mike Rubendahl's. And your time begins now. Uh, here we go. Japanese style tattooing is near and dear to my heart. It's gonna be pretty traditional Japanese. Everything about a koi fish is line work. In the scales, in the fins, line work makes it all work together as one. You definitely don't want water. At all period? Yeah, no. I want it to blossom out of flowers, not water. My canvas is not only picky, but lacks common sense. Why you don't like the water? Just looks cheesy. That looks cheesy? Yeah, it's not moving in my body. Koi fish are in water. You don't see koi fish tattoos without water. So no way I can talk you to in some water. Just yeah, no. We can't get no understanding. I feel like I'm talking to a toddler. What, but what if I draw it on here and just let you take a look and then see if you might like it? You can if you want to, but I don't want water. I don't know how to handle this I'm so freaking out. Why? It's just a tattoo and it's gonna hurt. It's a needle. Damn, she wants this on her ribs. Can she take it? How are you gonna do the water wave? No, you say you want it coming from the outside going into the fish? Well, somewhat. Everything that she prefers is against what I'm trying to do. That fish is bigger than what we... No, it's it. This is the original side. I'm gonna shrink it. Can he have one whisker? Right now, mentally, I'm losing it. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at it. Like where it's at? It looks weird. He just looks lonely there. I'm exhausted. She's having me change this and change that. That's good. It's right on the blade, though. You got, got your other shoulder blade tattooed already. At home, I own my own shop. If I don't want to do it, I send them on their way. You relax. Put your shoulders down. I got my back against the wall, and I'm having a compromise. Now I feel like I just have a hole in the back. Hole? All right, take a look at that. Yeah, perfect. 
Let's get it popping, girl. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. Bam. 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 It'll make me feel better. We ain't got a whole lot of time, so I gotta get on it. Oh my god. My poor back. I'm not happy with it. It looks like pee. Like the fish is pee. What kind of is that? This bitch is crazy. Like, I can't figure out how to please her. You're telling me that that doesn't look like a puddle right now? It's a water splash. Looks like my niece drew it. Well, don't, don't insult me, man. I have to live with this, and you're not paying for my removal. I'm going to fix it. Now, they made it this far, and I've been having all these nutty-ass canvases all this time. She's by far the worst. Now, take a look at that. This is BS right now. Like, I hit. He's too orange, though. And that's the blood leaking through the yellow. You and I are not even on the same page right now. Ain't nobody ever been unpleased with something I did ever my whole life till now. This is plain ignorance. That looks like a pumpkin and a tip. But it, I told you, your skin irritated. So I'm trying to be nice, and I'm just going to flip your table over. This is on my back. I'm trying to, like, talk to you so we can work together. Your job is to work with me here. This is going to make me flip out, you know what I mean? You gonna have him continue or you gonna have him stop? I want him to continue. This is embarrassing. I don't want to go home for this. I cannot let this defeat me. What about the other flower? What happened? I have enough time to finish it. And Keto, your canvas didn't even get you on this one. You got yourself on this one. Today, you had to tattoo head to head with our guest judge. Mike is a master of Japanese tattooing. Let's see what you're up against. Mike, talk to us about your design. My design is a traditional Japanese-style koi fish. I tried to make it look interesting in every aspect. The line work is as crisp as it gets. There's no thicker, thinner lines to cover up. It's solid tattooing. These principles are what make things look strong. And when you come here to compete, you're supposed to have knowledge of these principles to do all these challenges. The bar is definitely set here. Keto. I know you had a struggle, but man, every centimeter of this tattoo shows that struggle. This line work is this poor. She was kicking her feet. Every stroke on that tattoo, she was moving. The drawing is one of the worst layouts of the day. The shape of the water, totally strange. That top lotus flower looks like an artichoke. There's no redeeming qualities to this tattoo whatsoever. We're here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. That's my tattoo, and um, the artist was Keto. It looks awful, unfortunately. Nothing melds together. It's all kind of like a collage. It looks like a five-year-old drew it. The blue water looks like another leaf. He told me it was a good idea to add some waves so it could look more realistic. Those waves don't look realistic. Yeah. That was the biggest mistake, was to listen to his idea. He told me, trust him. He has 10 years experience. Back up your work, because definitely it's not there. <sighs> Just looks so bad. Today, you had to show crisp, perfect lines tattooing a Japanese koi fish. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Keto, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I think anybody else that would have had to deal with what I dealt with would have probably been down here too. Excuse me, you messed up my back and you can't take full responsibility for that ugly tattoo. I ended up giving in and pretty much letting her coach the whole drawing. That's not my work. That was all you. And it looks horrible. What specifically don't you like? I don't like the lining, the colors, the flower placement. I don't like the water placement at all. You're dealing with an awful work that you just did on my back that unfortunately I have to live with for like ever. Okay, now I don't like think I said, you're getting that. I'm just too intelligent, man, for any rebuttal right now. Just leave it at that. Mary Jean, I hope that you find a solution to this. Thank you. Thank you. Guido. I can't disagree with your canvas. This is a bad drawing. The end result is a poor tattoo. I was just trying to finish it at some point. I was trying to turn something in. I don't think that any one of us find any redeeming qualities in this tattoo. Keto, you let your canvas beat you. If we eliminate the canvas, the fundamentals beat you. So I would have to vote for Keto. The judges have decided. Keto, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Hold it down, man. Yeah, man. That's bullshit.
to the highest level of bull I'm getting sent home because this canvas with the IQ of a toddler couldn't agree to a design, picked apart my design, couldn't take the tattoo. I'm pissed the off. Today, you must create pixelated tattoos. Pixelated? What? Damn. Is there an instruction booklet for pixel tattoos? I have no idea how to make one of those. A pixelated tattoo is taking an image and breaking that down into individual squares and individual colors. They take forever to do. So motorcycle was the idea. Yeah, like a drag racing motorcycle. Say the pixelated doesn't fit very well with the motorcycle. What other ideas did you have? Oh, that was what I really wanted to get today. Maybe kind of difficult. And one for of the this. things I think is cool about it is that, I mean, that's one thing you can use to denote the speed because all the pixels flying off the back. I'm worried that there's a lot of details. All right, the other thing I want is a woman riding the bike. This is a design that I can crash and burn on. We definitely had to go with some black and gray to make sure that we yeah. get a little detail. Yeah, that's fine. So you flexible on that part? Yeah. Awesome, nice. What kind of colors are you going to use? With this, black and gray is going to be the best thing to uh, keep. That's not what I asked for, man. I asked for the graphic, vibrant color. That's what yeah. I want. No, but you did say we were kind of open with the Talked whole thing, about right? some of the background, having some gray and... No, that's with the it. motorcycle parts. No, I want color. It's, it's not going to... It, it won't work. You're gonna give me a tattoo, it's gonna be a color tattoo, buddy. Yeah, well, but with the... What no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 What's going on? I asked for a color tattoo. He came and he showed me this. It's just a matter of turning this from black and gray to color. He said, I can't do this in color. I'm thinking about your skin long term. You know, I just don't think you can do what I ask for. No, color's not an issue for Mike. I think there was just a miscommunication there. Well, now I don't trust him. Why? You didn't listen to me. It comes back with something totally different than I asked for. I don't want to do it with you. If I can't get what I want, then I'm done. <clears throat> I am completely screwed right now. I even tried to talk him down. I even told him, hey, give me a chance. Let me, let me talk to you. And he was like, no. If I don't do a tattoo today, this could be it. You have six hours to create a head tattoo. And your time starts now. Right on. Come on. Finesse is definitely going to come into play in this particular elimination because head tattoos are painful. So have you tattooed head before? Yeah, cool. So it's going to take a lot of bedside manner to be able to keep their clients calm and cool throughout the session and really show us what they have. I'm very nervous starting this tattoo. The smaller you do detail, the harder it is to pull it off right. You're doing great. Thank you. Are you trying? Everything in my head right now is telling me a small tattoo is not the best way to go. This is gonna send you to the bottom. She's coming along. So far, so good. I just gotta deal with what I got and rock this with confidence. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Time's up. No more ink. Machines down, please. You've done great. <laughs> I could not take a six hour tattoo on my head. No way. I think you nailed it. Tattoo Baby's tattoo is overwhelmingly flawed. The head's too big, anatomy's a little off, the toes are freaking weird. She's still showing her weaknesses. Tattoo Baby should definitely be going home. Artists, today you had to show your ability to use finesse by tattooing a challenging part of the body, the head. Tattoo baby. How well do you feel you executed this tattoo? It was pretty challenging for me. There were certain spots where she was crying, but hopefully I helped her soothe through it. You used finesse with your canvas. It was a difficult piece. I like the way you designed her, where she's bound and her legs are up. Only thing I'm having trouble with is that line that looks like the, it's a part of her butt cheek, and then the line going down, it looks like the back of her leg. If I look at a tattoo and I have to figure out what's going on, that's not a successful tattoo. I do feel that you have probably more consistency yeah. in your line weight than potentially Joey for me beating up Joey's outline. However, you look like you're covering up inconsistencies just by the approach of the shading that you took. Trying to pack areas with this blue that's inconsistent, that is a hard, hard, hard color to make look great. You took a beautiful structure and you muddied it up. We are here to decide which tattoo is the worst. My artist was Tattoo Baby. I asked for a woman bound in seaweed. The bottom hand, it just... It's contorted. It's, it seems disproportionate. 
top hand kind of twisted over and the pinky on the bottom hand that just kind of yeah, doesn't set right. The hands are misproportioned and the feet. To me, looking at that tattoo, proportion-wise, it looks great. Great figure, thick and nice booty. It's beautiful, but beautiful doesn't cut the cake. I'm not happy with it. I'd be really happy with it. It looks good. I know what that is. I just didn't know what yours was, my man, and that's all it is. Tattoo baby, Kyle, Joshua. One of you is about to close shop. Tattoo Baby, you're here because the Human Canvas jury voted that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Oh, well, I, wow. You've got to be able to get clean lines in. We expected you to make a leap from last year to this year, and I'm not seeing it. I feel like I've been trying to overdo it with my tattoos, and maybe that's why I've been dropping the ball a little bit, but I feel like I do deserve another challenge. I can show you black and gray. I can show you color. You've seen my blending. I draw my ass off, so I really hope you guys give me the chance. Artists, you have six hours to create a trash polka tattoo, and your time begins now. All right. Let's do this. Trash polka, it's a real test because it encompasses so many different elements. These artists are going to have to take the imagery the canvas is asking for and find a way to meld all that together to really turn out a beautiful tattoo. Uh, oh, My canvas wants a bunch of random New York I fall the worst spot. I got the shakes. Grease yourself. Ah. You're getting an easy spot tattooed? Shut the up and let me do what I do. Today, you had to use composition to create a trash polka tattoo. Let's see how you did. Tyler. Looking at the tattoo, it is very busy, but at the same time, when I look at composition, if it's interesting, I can overlook mistakes. But the Empire State Building's line, pretty strange. That outline gets a little crazy. I had to hold that kid down. We always compliment you on your application, and this one, some of the line work just gets away. I wasn't trying to go for clean. I wanted to go for like that messy punk rock. In here, always go for clean. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo, and my artist was Tyler. The image was just photoshopped and traced onto my leg. It really wasn't original. I think it's too busy. I think from a distance, I wouldn't know what that was. That Statue of Liberty looks like crap. All he did was Google Statue of Liberty, Googled Empire State Building, copy, paste. Today, your composition was put to the test with trash polka tattoos. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Tyler, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I'm 100% surprised. Everybody uh, pretty much agreed that everything was just very clustered. It's just very unreadable from a distance. What do you think about it? I'm unsatisfied with it. The Empire State Building, it just looks so corny and just stenciled. It's a trash polka tattoo. Tyler, I mean, this is not personal. I'm just saying the tattoo that I came away with, I'm unsatisfied. I did the challenge. I like the tattoo. Thank you very much, Thank Kenny. You Appreciate you sharing your thoughts. Tyler, the design itself has a lot of the style that you were asked to do, but pleasing your clients, that is the mindset you have to have to win this thing and not put yourself up for being at the bottom. 